Hi YouTube. So I bought this CNC machine and I have it up for sale on eBay. So I figured I would make a video showing you guys how nice it cuts. I had made a previous video but I really didn't cut much with it. This is a four foot by four foot V carb sign. So basically uh, I've got the machine all set up and leveled out. And I have a piece of inch and a half precision board. And I figured as long as I have the machine set up and I'm going to make a video, I'd make a sign for one of my friends. So, here we go. So with cutting the sign, I had set the uh, feed rate at 100 inches per minute for cut and 30 inches a minute for plunge. Because as I said in my previous video, I just, uh, I rebuilt that Z. It used to be air powered. And uh, right now I have it running with just an Acme screw that's connected with a rubber hose. So I didn't want the plunge rate too fast. I didn't want to pull the rubber hose connector off. I had ordered a uh, ball screw for the z-axis but it hasn't arrived yet so if you purchase this machine you're going to be getting the z with a with a ball screw set up in it it's going to all be set up properly with the with the right bushing connector so what else can i tell you about the machine uh i have a 20 foot by 20 foot garage and <laughs> it's a great machine but it takes up my whole garage i didn't really think it was going to be that big um Taking it apart and putting it together, really not bad at all. Uh, you know, you got the two beds lift right off with a motor hoist. And then you have four rail sections, two main rails and two extension rails. So you, And then there's little, you know, steel feet platform that the side rails set up on. So you first get your layout and you set your little uh, rail posts out. And then you bolt the rails to them, and everything has adjusters on it. The uh, the little base feet have four bolt adjusters, and then the rails also have adjusters. So you can get everything pretty much leveled out with the adjusters, and you just measure across. As you know, I have the original blueprint. Set your two beds in place. Uh, the side mounts for the bed also adjust up and down about a half an inch. So once you have your main rails level. If your beds are a little bit off, once you put the gantry on, you can measure down from the gantry. You can just work the brackets uh, uh, for the beds up and down a little bit, which is what I did. Really, it only took about uh, two hours to set up and level out to where it is now. I mean, it's not 100% uh, level, but it's pretty close. So my thought was the original beds had the spoil board uh, particle board glued right to them what I think a better idea would be is if you cut strips of uh, three inch particle board three quarter by three inch glued those down to the beds and then after you get it pretty much leveled out you would just take a maybe a one inch flat router bit and just surface all the tops of the one by threes on the beds and then put your screw your spoil boards down on them and you would have a dead perfect bed you couldn't get any you know more level and square than that is, is if you machine the, the pieces you're going to glue down to the uh, bed rails and then you could just change your spoil board as you need to because once you have it leveled and, and the piece the strip surface it's going to be level I, I don't see any reason why it would come out of level but anyway, I'm babbling. Uh, it's a great machine, so uh, if you have any questions or you want to make me an offer on it, uh, feel free to uh, contact me. Thank you. I also uh, sped up the cut rate for the sake of not wow, boring you to death. Well, right. it uh, cuts through the whole yeah. sign and does also the cutout but uh, the whole cut job took about 35 minutes and about another 12 minutes for the cutout 
but like I said, I had the feed rate set pretty low at 100 inches per minute. I didn't uh, want to go crazy and ruin my only sheet of precision board. But I think the machine will probably run uh, probably double what it's cutting now without a problem. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Here's the finished sign, all cut out. I just have to paint it and give it to my friend. And uh, if you have any questions about the machine or anything, you can contact me through the CNC Zone forum, which I'll have this listed on, or you can contact me through eBay. Or leave a comment uh, through YouTube, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.